are protesting the claim by Venezuela to two-thirds of Guyana. That's the entire Essequibo. We are also protesting what we believe is not um, adequate action on behalf of the government of Guyana to educate and to highlight this issue. You know, um, in Venezuela, they have rallies, they have big high-powered meetings and all of that um, over this issue. And what we have is a few statements here and there, a few letters in the media. Um, the president is said to have called in the opposition leader, called the opposition leader, and they have agreed they call in the Venezuelan ambassador. That's a diplomatic thing, but you have to go beyond that. People need to be mobilized, right, to let people know, the whole world should know, that in this particular issue, that is the um, territorial integrity of Guyana, we are united. We might be divided in other issues, but we must show them that in this issue we are united in, in our um, contention that Essequibo belongs to Guyana. They must respect the 1899 Arbitral Award where their Venezuelans participated and agreed to the boundaries as they are now. Right? I'm saying to the matters before the ICJ and Venezuela should allow that process to work. And that is basically a way to try to bring attention or more attention um, to this issue. I don't think we should let our guards down and we should deal with it seriously. I concur with what Paul mentioned, that we need to be serious and the government also has to be more proactive. This is where Venezuela is claiming two-thirds of Guyana. And I said in the previous programs, when you have issues like this border, border issues, three things we need to look at. Our dime, D-I-M-E. Things diplomatically, we look at intelligence, we look at our military, and we look at our economics. And we not do, do this kind of thing. A little diplomatic thing here and there. But, but what about intelligence? If you look at things at the international scene, what's going on in Israel now? They drop the guard, the Mossad, and Shin Bet dropped the guard and the Palestinians invaded there for a while. And we've seen the murderous thing that is going on here. Therefore, I'm saying that we have to sensitize our enemies, our, our, our military, including police or joint service, on the borders location. Nobody talking to them. Nobody sensitizing them. We, 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 we're not even looking at whether they have the training to be as, as first responders, as the case may be. That... And then we heard a statement from the vice president that he's going to give the Venezuelan a pathway through our waterways to the Atlantic. The Atlantic is where oil is. Is there where we, I, I read that the economy is going to go by, by, by 50% this year and 100% next year. But, but we're giving them pathway through our waterway, through the Cayuni, the Mazaroni, the Potoro, the Rupununi, the Escribo, through the Waini, through the Moro Passes, and all these things. Venezuelans coming here in droves. And they're coming also with the, 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 the ferry that they, that they recently put into place from, from the North West. They're coming and they're getting preferential treatment. That we reach a stage where we have more, in certain locations, more, more Spanish men than, 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 than Guyanese. And we need to look at that. And if you look at the last election, we said they had they won by 14,000 votes. We have over 100,000 Guyanese new. And I want to suspect they're going to give them ID cards. They're going to vote. Remember the last and the last occasion we we heard that persons sharing up ID cards on the East Coast and on the West West Demerara. So all these things is tied up in the election too, you know. But I say in the government not doing enough, and the government has an opportunity where the leader of the opposition says he's united. Perhaps we, it can be nice to see the leader of the opposition and and the, and the president on stage on one stage, you know, they might shake hands. Well, you may remember, I remember Bob Marley had um, Siago and Manly together on a, on, a, on a stage, you know, that this thing calls for unity, unity, and we will come back here as regularly as we can. We say, not a blade of grass, not one grass, we go beat their ass. I think my, uh, among my principal concerns is the apparent lack of interest and awareness on the part of the youths. Now, the youths, if I am now wrong, make up a significant portion of our population. And if youths are going to ask me when they pass here or when they see me in the road, what's this bar, the thing all about? It means that we are not doing enough to sensitize them. We to use um, a, a form of 
a late politician's words, we need to galvanize them, mobilize them, we need to energize these people. And I wrote a post this morning saying that if we were to use half the energy that we use to promote certain bacchanalian events, if we were to use half of the energy to promote the type of awareness I would like to see happen among the youths, we would have a very informed and involved population of youth people, young people. And um, in addition to that, the older folk. That's it.